Hey everybody, this is Cassie from Sassy Cassie Plans, and today we're going to be going through my 2020 memory keeping planner. So this is my first year ever doing memory keeping, and I am in love with it. It's such a great way to capture memories of me and my kids as they grow up, especially since they're so little still. And this is how chunky this baby has gotten over the past year. I had to get three inch tool discs and I didn't even think that these were going to make it through the rest of the year, but I managed to fit those last little pages on there. For comparison, this is the planner I'm using this year and this is what it started off as and now it's so big, but it's so exciting because there's so much fun and memories and love put into this planner that I'll enjoy looking through it for the years to come. So, since this is my first year ever doing Happy Planner and Decorative Planning, you get to see my progress over the past year. So, this was an undated memory keeping planner that I started off with. And in the beginning of the year, I only had a few sticker books to choose from. I had maybe one or two of the memory keeping sticker books, so I used a lot of those to begin with. I initially thought that you can only use big sticker books for the big planner, but you'll see that I started branching out and using all the sticker books. So in January, I did these circle cutouts for a picture a day. So pretty basic starting out. I just put pictures in the boxes, decorated around it, wrote in a few things, and that was it. Pretty basic. I was still trying to learn how I like to plan and how to plan. So you'll see I use like a lot of the big stickers and I keep everything in the boxes. Try and keep it neat. And one thing I did like doing this year was if I had too many pictures, I would use washi tape and do little flip ups with them so that they didn't take up too much space on my page and I really liked that. Did more over here. Visiting daddy at the fire station. Just little tidbits from our day, going grocery shopping, hanging out at home, eating dinner. And then um, for most of the Ends of the months, they had this overview page. I did it for majority of them. I think I stopped towards the end when I switched the planners out. This is going to be February. I did more florals. I didn't have much to choose from at the time, but it still came out cute. More flip ups. This is when we moved into our new home. Where's this? Oh, it's flipped up the wrong way. Valentine's Day. Up. So as you can see, I only had a limited amount of washi tape, but at the moment, I my collection has really expanded since then. So you'll start seeing different types of stickers and washi tape here soon. My end of the month. This goes into March when um, COVID started and quarantine happened. I started um, putting boxes in the sideboard to just do basic highlights of the month. And during these months, we had a lot to do, so I had a lot of extra pictures. So you'll see in the next few pages how I add the little extra pre punch sheets from Happy Planner for memory keeping. These ones right here. I add a lot of these in when I have a lot of extra pictures. I try to make them match the spread, so I use like the green washi tape and whatnot. I had so many pictures from this week. So I used, I think, two pages, and then I used this little picture pocket as well. 
So I just put the pictures down, added some boxes, and journaled more about it. I loved this little combo with the stripes and colors. So yeah, that was a very fun week. We spent a lot of time in the backyard and going on walks, playing with chalk, swimming. It was so much fun. So here's April. I used, what I use? What is this? I think it's from the Happy Memory, the Holidays Memory Keeping Book. So I use that and then the Spring Book for these. I don't normally use them in my catch-all, so I thought this would be the perfect place to use them all. Here's another page where I added, this was for Easter, first Easter in quarantine. We had to do it a little differently, so we had a little Zoom call where we had dinner with our family, played Pictionary, it was a lot of fun. We did a little makeshift Easter egg hunt in our front yard for the boys, they really liked it. Then I got pictures of our cousins, added them all in here just for memories since we were all social distanced at the time. We got to play in the pool that week. We bought a little blow-up pool for the boys since we know we'd be spending a lot of time at home. More walks to, um, to the lake and the dog park. Playing outside with bubbles, bath time. And this was my youngest son, Josiah's second birthday. It was quarantine, so we stayed home and made the best of it. His grandma made this cute little sign that said, Quarantine second birthday party. None of y'all are invited. So cute. So we did a little photo shoot and then the next day we took a little trip to the beach just us and the family. Was a lot of fun. I used more of those little pre-punched cardstock pages from the Happy Planner. And this was the end of that spread. What would I use? I think it was Happy Quotes that I used for this. And this was Grandma's birthday. We brought her flowers and a cupcake and just more times at home. I think I used the big farmhouse. Alright, here's May. What I use for this? I think I used the floral sticker book. I used the journaling for up here. And then I think it was encouragement or a, what was it, the tiny sticker pad. The colorful boxes that had these little pink foil in them. And this was Mother's Day week. Used a lot of pink and yellow. Tried to vibe off of this since I had a lot of pictures that I put on here. So I made a little collage of our Mother's Day festivities. And then you see here I started branching out of the way I was planning. Put the pictures in like a square and then decorated around it. Normally I was trying to keep them in each square. I'm starting to branch out and figure out other ways on how to plan and you can see that right here. I really like this little cluster right here. So I start doing that a lot more often as we come into the summer months. This was I think the first spread I used with the summer sticker book and it's so cute, so bright. This is when I got the Empowering Women sticker book. I wanted to use it with the confetti for my fiance's birthday and the flowers are just so pretty. Paper glitter stickers. I thought I needed the sticker book. I looked everywhere for it, finally got it, and now I never use it. It just collects dust, but it made for one cute spread at least. My end of the month catch up. And then here's June. I used the summer sticker book. Blues and yellows. I used more of those little flags that are at the end of the books just to put some more color in. And then you see the boxes on the side to talk about the month. Greens and yellows for this spread. I really like these little flowers. They're really pretty. I think this is when the the wild box came out or shortly after. I had to use some of them in here. No, I think this is from the Big Color Storybook. I take that back. Still cute, though. I love the wild-styled 
the collection. And I used my Daydreamer accessory book for this. I've been hoarding it, thought I needed to use it. Came out really cute. Those flowers are adorable. And right now we're into July. Such a cute spread. I love my monthlies. I think I got these from Horizontal sticker book and then the leaves. What is that? I think Pastel Tropics maybe. There's a few books with leaves in them. But I love how this came out. This is our 4th of July spread. So you can see it when I looked it up. I had extra pictures so I put them in this little picture pocket. Used one of the summer sticker books. I think it was like a seasonal sticker book that I used for this. I like the little rainbow colors that I had. This was our vacation week. We rented a beach house with the family, so I used a color story sticker book with those beachy vibes in it. And I really love how it came out. So cute. Use some color splotches for this. I love these, um, what do you call them? Muted colors, they looked really pretty. And then we used some brights. I think this is another color story sticker book. I found them the easiest to use at this time because it was so hard pulling stickers from different sticker books. I started getting a lot of them and it was really overwhelming, so I just stick to a color story and use it. So July had a lot of fun going on, so I did make a lot of extra pages in here. So I have one documenting our vacation, some summer fun on our vacation, and my oldest son's birthday. And then August, I used those little... What are they? Popsicles. I think it's from the Watercolor Goals sticker book. I think all oh, this is from Watercolor Goals. And this is from the Big Color Story sticker book. Really pretty. I, this is like probably one of my favorite, favorite designs. And then Pastel Tropics. I got that new wall washi and I just had to use it, so I layered it with a bunch of stickers on this one. You can see I start really liking my grid washi that I got, so I use it a lot. Made a little page for my son's first day of second grade. And then September, you see I start getting really basic with my spreads. I'm not as into it as I was, I wasn't feeling the best, but I did my best to make them cute still. Really like the colors in the spread and all the layering that I did. The year to shine. Thought it'd be a good theme since it was my son going back to school. This I use some journaling cards. I have a lot of them, and I forget about them, so I thought they'd be perfect for memory planning. We went to a drive through zoo, and the kids really liked it, except for Jojo, as you can see. And then first week of fall, I had to do fall colors. The new fall sticker book was so pretty. I love all their big quotes that they have in there. And then at the end of the month, I put my extra sheets. This was me and my twin brother's birthday. And then we went. I went flying for the first time on one of those little planes. It was really cool. October, I used the fall sticker book again, the new one. And um, I think it was happy to plan um, Desiree. She did the schools with the flowers, so I thought I'd add them in here because they were so adorable. This is the new thing that I tried. I did the stickers mix match throughout the middle and decorated around. I'm not sure how much I liked it, but it's something new, you know. More fall colors. This spread. This was a really fun week. So, at the beginning of the week, I was proposed to. So, I decorated the first half with the wedding sticker book. Put a lot of little quotes. And all the extra pictures on this side. And then on this side, we went to Renfest. So 
I did a flower type spread since I was wearing like a flower crown. It came out really cute. And I went to the pumpkin patch. So I had a lot of pictures for that. I like how this one turned out too. The big quotes from the fall sticker book. And Halloween. Of course I had extra pictures so I used the picture pocket again. But I thought that was cute too. And then I'm still doing the little flips for my extras. And then I have a few extra pages. Well, just one for this month. All right, November. Basic, cute, still going with what I do with the circles and my writing down the side. More fall. I've been hoarding these stickers for a while and finally decided to use them. I'm glad I did because this spread came out cute. Love all the autumn vibes and dark colors in there. What's this? Thanksgiving week. So I had a lot of pictures. Went on some walks, visited family. Extra page for more pictures and then me and the boys, and then I finally got to decorate for Christmas. I was so excited. In December, the last month, I used those sloths I've been hoarding on, so all my winter spreads are done. Might as well use them now, right? So I use them in here. I went to go see Santa Claus. Lots of cute pictures of the boys. It's a very hard month. This I probably could have done so much better in these December spreads, but I was just not feeling it this month. It was so hard on me. But I'm glad to have it all done. I started counting down the days of Christmas. Did little flips here. I had a lot of pictures. I started running out of those picture pockets. So I tried to save them because I knew I'd need them. For Christmas and then last spread New Year's spread I'm so excited to have finally finished this planner and I'm so ready to start a new one and see where this year takes me Thank y'all so much for watching. Um, stay tuned. I'm going to be posting. I'm thinking about doing my 2019 planner that I finished this year and also a flip through of my catch all. And then hopefully after that, I'll start doing more plan with me's. If I start feeling better. So I hope y'all have a great day. Please like and subscribe. Thank you.